Hi, I'm Taylor Wickmanowski, and this reflection is called Taking the Training Wheels Off, No More Participation Grades. Um, I initially developed the rubric and the discussion sections for these lessons uh, because I was really concerned how am I going to avoid some things that happen in a lot of classes where um, you've got one group or uh, a few students who kind of dominate all the discussions. It was really important for me uh, when I started this course that it would be accessible. I didn't just want the gifted students to be the ones who understood what was happening with the economics and the environment and et cetera. Um, so uh, that's why I initially came up with the rubric and this idea that, hey, each group needs to participate and multiple people per group need to participate. At this point in, we're a few lessons into this procedure, this routine, uh, and without making a big announcement that I'm stopping grading um, for participation, I just kind of do this uh, and kind of altered the way I do it. Uh, and, and essentially what I've done uh, using kind of the discussion guides, I know what I want to get out of the discussion. I know what I want the kids to arrive to. Uh, so at the beginning of the class, I uh, introduce, uh, I, well, uh, the questions are already introduced in the homework uh, assignment preceding the lesson. So at the beginning of the class, uh, I allow kids in their groups to discuss uh, their homework questions. And then I go around from group to group. Uh, and when talking to them, uh, I, I figure out which groups have uh, a good answer, especially um, giving focus to those English language learners who might otherwise feel uh, like they don't have much to contribute to the discussion. So in doing so, I give all groups time to, to discuss their answers ahead of time, uh, and then I go in and ch check on groups who have great answers. Uh, and that um, the way that works out is when we finally do have the, the discussion towards the end of the, uh, of the lesson, I already know which groups have good answers. I already uh, know I'm not going to be uh, greeted with dead air. And if we have that problem, which, you know, kind of developed this rubric in, and the idea of grading participation to uh, to get around, which was, you know, we need to get more people's voices into the discussion. I already have an idea who's going to, who's got good answers. Um, so I, I feel like I'm not putting anybody on the spot so much. I already know they have something to contribute. Uh, and it's kind of a way of getting over some of their shyness or their reluctance to participate, saying, hey, you've got a great idea. Let's hear it.